this was a story that really is fairly unknown. But it's one that's very profound because it has connections to today. Right now, my research is focusing on African-American individuals who served during the war. Overall, World War I is an overlooked war. And then within that, you look at everything that's been written about African-Americans during the war, and it gets even smaller. I think it's important that we know about African-Americans serving in the Home Guard because it specifically marked the first time African-Americans were recruited into our state's military. So our state's military was also racist in its practices. This guy had no military experience, but you might find that several did. If there was a dinner party around World War I, the thing that people would have fought over was whether African Americans owed any duty to the nation and what that duty should be. They're just being Americans. Americans all over the country were debating what kind of duty Americans had to Europeans killing each other. So this is William Howard. He was from Minneapolis and he was the head of the 16th Battalion Minnesota Home Guard Band and his story is really quite amazing. So he came here in the 1880s with the 25th Infantry, which was a segregated unit in the Army and one of the famous Buffalo Soldier units and he was stationed at Fort Snelling and he was a musician in the 25th Infantry. After the war, he became a music teacher in the Twin Cities. When the unit dissolved, members of the band formed some jazz quartets and helped bring jazz to the Midwest. Here is a woman in a Minnesota Home Guard uniform. There are a lot of questions. We see a ring on her finger, so she's likely married, but to whom, we don't yet know. Is she part of the Home Guard, or is she wearing her loved one's uniform as a way of making herself feel closer to him? It's a reminder that women were Jane Crowed out of the war. If part of the purpose of war and part of the purpose of a draft is to require the men of the country to prove their commitment to their country, we don't even afford that to women. The more you research, the more stories you find, the more names you find, every single name is a story.